Quest for Balance is easily the worst adaptation of the series since M. Night Shyamalan's abysmal live-action movie. It picks baffling moments from the story to highlight, fills them with awful combat and bottom-of-the-barrel quests, and tops itself off with a healthy coating of jank, leaving fans still desperately waiting for a decent Avatar game to one day emerge from the ice. Perhaps the best example of how laughably inaccurate Quest for Balance has made itself is that Sokka is by far the most powerful fighter the whole way through. Able to spam similarly strong attacks faster than any bender and with an ability in his skill tree that eventually makes him totally immune to knockdowns. 